My next gun is a Springfield Armory XD Mod 2 9mm. It's a subcompact. It's smaller than the other one. It looks, it doesn't, well, yeah, it is. That, the other one's a compact, but it, that's quite small for a compact, in my opinion. I believe it had a, the Grand Power had a 3.3 inch barrel, which is about the same size as the barrel on this. But uh, let me see if I can. There you go. <clears throat> I have to get used to this one because it has it has a grip safety, uh, and it will not let you. Uh, it will not let you pull the slide back without having that grip safety uh, in place. Uh, you know, gripped on the gun. Um, I have not broken this gun down yet either. The only other gun that I have that has a grip safety is my 1911. My uh, uh, Rock Island uh, Armory. But I do believe it'll let you rack. I thought it would let me rack with the uh, grip safety enabled, but it wouldn't let me pull the trigger. But yeah, so <clears throat> you notice I pulled this out. The other one didn't have one, and I should have done a I should have done a safety check before I did that before I you know mess with that gun. So, nothing in the chamber, no magazine, nothing in there. I usually don't like sticking my hand in here because if this thing releases on your finger, that's it. But yeah, this one also has the dreaded loaded chamber indicator. Um, and if you notice on the on the uh, on the case, it says not legal in California. Uh, this gun, I'm taking it with me. It is legal in California. It's not legal for retail sale in California. So, uh, <clears throat> not sure if that's what they meant, but uh, uh, I think some of these uh, these gun manufacturers and, and these places, uh, whoever stuck this on here, they have to be careful with the wording of this. Um, I can I can actually take this to California, and I, and I am taking it to California. That's why I bought it, because once I get to California, it's going to be harder to find some of these guns. And uh, I do believe this gun is actually available in California. <laughs> but it has the California safety gadgets that the, the safety Nazis want. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> my, my, my views of this gun, I am so glad that I bought the, uh, the dual tone. Because uh, at first I was kind of wary. I wanted something different. Most of my guns are black. Um, this is the one and only dual tone that I have. The Equinox that I have isn't really dual tone, but it's got these. It's got this look to it that makes it look exotic. Um, like the slide uh, uh, serrations are uh, almost like kind of like dark chrome, and certain aspects of the gun give it like a lighting. That, that that looks very exotic. Now that's a thousand dollar gun. I'd expect something like that on that gun, and that's why that's why I picked it. Um, but anyways, the slide on this thing makes it look excellent. It's not just it's like a dark chrome. It's very nice. Um, it racks well. Um, it feels good in my hand. Although I've always had a problem. My hands aren't exact, they aren't the largest in the world, but they're certainly not small. So when I grip this gun, let's do it on my left hand here, and I'm not used to gripping them with my left. Um, my pinky hangs off. Uh, that doesn't make me feel very confident. Um, I can still fire the gun. It's just a training thing where I have to mentally kind of adapt to my finger hanging off. Um, but... Let's take a look at these mags. These are 10 round mags, they're really nice looking. One has a, uh, a mag sleeve. Uh, they both still hold uh, 10 rounds. This says XD940 on it, so I'm assuming that you use it for the XD9 and the 40 cal version. Not sure. But it's got the round counts on the back. So I, I wanna show you something here. If I stick this magazine in there, and that's the that's the the one without the mag sleeve. 
<clears throat> my hand, let me come around here. Pinky's hanging off. So I can shoot it like this, or I can kind of squeeze it in there. Right? Now let's take that one out. It adds like another, like another inch or so to the gun, and it, there's no longer any hang. It still holds 10. Uh, so I guess you get the option of how you want to carry. Some people want small grips where they carry weapons. Some people prefer that comfort like me. So it's cool that they kind of give you a options there. Um, features on the gun. It's got this uh, fiber optic front sight uh, dovetailed. It's very nice. It also comes with these. So I can change up the coloring on them. And they gave me two long pieces, which is really cool because uh, when this one gets dirty and no longer works or something's wrong with it, I can just cut a piece off and probably slide it in there. I'm not sure exactly how it goes. Um, I could also use this for my other uh, optical uh, sights on my uh, optical uh, other sights on my uh, on my other guns that have op optical sights. Um, And I'm wondering if I can get more of these. I, pro I probably can. Um, so this has the trigger safety, just like my TP9 SA, um, and I think that's the other 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 gun I. That's the only other gun I have that has this. Um, well, there's another one here that I'm, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Um, but yeah, this is a subcompact compact gun, striker fired. Uh, you can see the, uh, the striker indicator here, and you can feel it as well. It's not painted red like the one on my, uh, on my, my Johnic uh, TP9 SA, um, but it's still noticeable. And uh, yes, I'm going to pull the trigger. You see it disappear. The trigger on this feels different than my TP9. I think that, that my TP9 SA actually sets the standard for triggers. Um, it's... From my understanding, the trigger on that gun is equivalent to uh, Walther uh, TPQ Mark, uh, not the first version, but maybe the, I think the, the latest version, which I think is Mark II. Um, and the uh, HK uh, VP9. This one, there's a lot of, let me come over here on this side. There's a lot of take up. So there's take up here. And you hit a wall. It's not that bad, but it's it feels like it's more than what's on my uh, TP9 SA. So a little bit of creep. It doesn't feel as elegant. The trigger doesn't. And I don't know if it's just because I need to break it in. There's a trigger reset here. That's a lot. That's a lot compared to my other guns. I don't know if that's a huge deal. That just means when I'm firing, I'll just, I'll just do this. I just have to let it out further. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll, uh, it'll change. I have not broken down this gun. Um, it's got ambidextrous uh, mag release on both sides. Uh, there's nothing else ambidextrous about it. The sights are contrast rears. And of course, the optical, if there's no light, I guess the ambient light is going to affect uh, how well it works. I don't know if you can see it in the video, so if I do this, it becomes dark. Um, the grip, <laughs> grippiness of this gun is actually pretty nice probably on par with my TP9 SA and again this is a polygon so yeah there you go I'm gonna put this back in here 
Um, I don't really want to cover what's in the uh, in the case here. And wow, this is a nice speed loader because you can use it for nine mil mags, 40, 45 uh, Glock AP, and 357 Sig. Wow, I did not, I didn't see that. Okay, this is cool. I've already got one that's, uh, I went ahead and bought, I wish I wouldn't have bought the other one then. I bought one that actually has a, uh, that is uh, compatible with other calibers.